Hi, how's it going? I wanted to go over uh, some of the basics on the AJ Jet today. I'm just going to show uh, turning it on, getting a catheter out, and um, priming it and having it ready to use. Also, uh, I have this tubing set up with some, some fake clot in there and fake blood. Uh, and we're going to show getting access with a six French um, and going in with the AJ Jet and uh, hopefully get rid of the clock. I'll see how it works. So, thanks. So, first thing, this, it doesn't have a battery. You have to turn it on. Um, plug it up. Give it the power button. Uh, there's also this pedal that's mounted on the back of it. You can see that. Um, that's for activation and use. Um, it has to be pressed during the runs. Uh, for this, I have uh, our expired, look that we have great amount of stuff in our training box. Uh, this is a Solent. Um, over the wire, it's a 90 centimeter catheter. Um, to open this up. It's sterile, so you'd have to open that up sterile for the, the person to take or whatever. Um, do this, I'm just gonna show taking it out. parts. Um, this part will, will be passed off the table and given to the circulator uh, or whoever's on the side that's running this. Uh, the drawer will open automatically when you turn it on. It's going to say insert pump. Uh, this has a little code on the side of it. The engine jet console will automatically recognize whatever catheter is placed in it. Um, toss this off to the side for now. There's the waste bag. There's also um, the spike that will go to your fluid. This gets dropped down, and you can see this little tube right there. It will go straight down in there. Your waste can go right here. Um, and once it's in there, last, you have your uh, saline. You have some old fluid. Once you have this part in, you can go ahead and hit the, I call it the belly button. You'll see a red light flash. There we go, it's reading that red light means uh, that it read the catheter. It's gonna come up with a catheter type up here. I should go ahead and spike the fluid. And turn that up. It'll automatically start pulling and running in. The pump down there, uh, it actually grabs the little head on the little man and the pump is uh, pumping to prime at least down to that part, okay? Um, you can just hang this off to the side. As far as um, scrub side of it, there is, you'll have your pedal. This thing will have a countdown up here. Um, at the top of it, it's going to say 15 seconds. So your catheter is going to come out. Yeah, uh, we'll have fluid on your table. You need to take your uh, catheter tip. It's gonna be submerged. I have just regular fluid right here. Um, and behind me, you're gonna see the countdown. Hold the tip under while you, while you hit this pedal. The pedal is where my foot is down here. Hold it down the entire time until the timer is up, okay? All right, prime complete. It says release the foot pedal. Your timer is now going to go to zero seconds, and that's how um, it says power pulse spray optional. It's automatically not going to be in power pulse. Um, again, that is just going to be for uh, peripheral use, and that's when you use lytics to soften uh, very hard or uh, a lot of dense clot and everything. You can soften it with TPA or some kind of thrombolytic. Um, and at that point, the catheter is just injecting that. Uh, you have to give it a wait period, 10 to 30 minutes. I believe it's close to 30 minutes on their website. Um, and then you take power pulse off. And at that point, it actually blasts the saline, takes the clot out, and aspirates at the same time. When you're putting the TPA in, it does not aspirate. Um, but for this, I'm, I'm not using any kind of uh, power pulse. If you do, there's a Y that goes on. You have to um, 
you take this spike out and it goes into to one part on here, and then you'll have one going to your spike and one going to TPA, and you have to actually select it. It's a little more of a process. I might cover that at a later date. Um, at this point, you have your catheter and it's ready. You can have it up here on your table. It's ready to go. Uh, this one goes over an 035 wire. Um, just about all of them do, except for they make a, a DISTA catheter that goes in over an 014. And also the coronary will go in over an 014 as well. All right, I'm gonna show, uh, this is my clot going through the suction tubing. And I'm gonna have some, my blood is actually bright pink today. I wanted to show some contrast with it, okay? Uh, between the colors. So you're gonna see me getting access to the micropuncture and a six, uh, six wrench pinnacle. Um, and then just feeding a 035 J wire down through there, okay? So, let's see. All right. I'm gonna take a tiny wire. Again, this is just gonna can see it's actually made it all the way to there already. Um, keep my wire access, sharps out. Always put your sharps in a sharp container. Um, this is just a four French micropuncture. Just to dilate up. Just the wire that comes with the pinnacle. Okay. Transition sheath. I'm gonna go in with this six French pinnacle. Is up, wires out, and all this stuff. I have um, just a regular change length J wire that I'm going to use. This um, this is an over the wire Angel Jet catheter. The and they will all be my wires passing through my clock. My um. My catheter's over the wire, most of them are. The coronary one will be monorail. Uh, it's rapid exchange. All right, take the cheater out. We're gonna take this wire and let's put this catheter down through there at this point. Bring it on up here, closer to me. I'm also gonna grab this pedal. wire comes out the end so when I can go ahead and just make my rail slide that all the way around and you'll have this uh, laying up there okay um, if it's peripheral you're probably gonna be in the opposite groin you're gonna be doing like an up and over technique uh, this is no guide I don't have a guide in here as you can see it's just strictly going straight into the sheath they do have their own uh, rules on what they fit through with this one um sheath com compatibility it does get through a six french if you are using a guide it has to get through an eight french when it comes time for the coronary ones 
Um, if I have a six French sheath in, because it's monorail, you have your catheter and at some point you have an 014 wire beside it. So it will not fit through, um, the six won't fit through the six. You have to come down two sizes, uh, especially if you're going through a guide, okay? So I would, if this was like coronary, I'd probably be using a four French. Um, so I have my, my wire down through there. I'm gonna start feeding my um, Angiojet catheter down through there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my fake blood. You will see this coming down through there, okay? I'm gonna have a little leaking around my sheath because I threw practice. All right, I'm gonna hit the pedal and we're gonna start going. You can see my pass going out through there. You'll see the, the clock going. All right, I wanna point out that over here uh, on the actual console, it gives you your second countdown timer um, and it will also tell you a, a thermbecomy volume 20.5 um, cc's at this time okay um, the countdown will always tell you what you're currently at um, you can see my clock has come all the way down to this point um, it's, it's a very fast uh, it's for a large clock burden and everything it's very powerful. The saline comes out of the catheter tips on most of them at greater than 300 mile an hour. So with the, it's called the Bernoulli effect. This is a, a backwards spraying catheter. And when it does it, it creates um, this vacuum circle. Um, it's a void that's created because of the saline blast. And in that void, there's um, less than 600 millimeter of mercury um, vacuum at this point. Um, that is, that's, that is a large uh, vacuum, 600 millimeters of mercury. So um, I can come back if I wanted to. I can continue to go just following down the catheter. This is a 90 centimeter. And continue to come back. You can see right here the catheter tip, actually the spraying happening. Um, this, the clot, the blood, and all that is going through the side holes, okay? So, this is going to keep blasting. Eventually, all the clot will disappear. I will go all the way as far as I can. come back some um, so my clot is gone at this point hopefully I would have a return to the blood flow Let's see if we can get this to fill up So before I had zero blood flow, now my line is starting to fill up, it's pink. I have good blood flow down through. Uh, this was an RCA or uh, some kind of peripheral vessel. I would have blood flow at this point. You can actually see it will start to run. What I have is uh, an air bubble right there because of my sheath. but. I'll hold that so you can see that it is now running all the way to my vessel is now going in the trash can. Just didn't want to make a mess, but hopefully this helps you. It explains uh, at least how to prep it, prime it, hold down the pedal, um, the passes. The catheters have uh, times, a lot of times they won't um, stay on the pedal for too long. Um, if this is done in a coronary, you also have to worry about um, arrhythmias like bradyarrhythmias mostly especially rcas and stuff um you could have atropine on hand and 
Um, I believe that the thought process on that is because it causes uh, lysis of the red blood cells. There's an adenosine release, and it can cause bradyarrhythmias. Um, but that's just uh, what I've read. Um, hopefully this helps again. This would just back completely out. It would pull out. Again, it's over the wire. Still have wire access. This this is ready to go. You can see all of my um my clot over there in my bag on my console. I ran for a total of 60 seconds, which most likely wasn't all needed um, to get this result, but I have great blood flow in my vessel now. So thank you for watching and I hope this helps.